Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you uh, 4th, January 2021, first real trading day um, of 2021. Calendar's full of useless uh, releases. Don't even really need to go into those. Um, markets are incredibly quiet with the exception of gold. Uh, as you can see, Euro popped up a little bit, uh, been up to 59 after a close at 15. So the weak dollar theme is, is kind of in play, cables. A few pips higher. We talked about there was probably going to be stops above 86 uh, in last night's note. Looks like there are or were. Took those out back down to 70 nothing really to do yet cable euro dollar um, last year's highs in euro dollar 123.09 oh no hold on yeah 123.10 let's call it um, that'll, that's kind of an interesting point uh, but now we're waiting for these election results in Georgia, so we're just kind of sitting tight. Dollar yen tickled the lows there down to 93. Um, again, not super sure what to do with what to do with this. Just more general dollar selling. Looks like sort of a soft sell. This in general. Uh, modus operandi is um, good for stocks but stocks really aren't doing anything they're right where they closed uh, as I look at the, the screens here 37.51 for ES Euro Yen deadly quiet sterling Yen same dollars are falling in line with this um, FU to the US dollar doesn't really get interesting till we get below 50. Uh, we're not really super interested in this mega consensus trade to buy e uh, emerging market. So the consensus out there is short dollars, long emerging markets. Um, I don't know why anyone has a consensus yet because until this election, until these election results um, come out tomorrow. Uh, we really, we don't have a lot to chew on, right? I bet a lot of people will be looking at that line right there. Um, so it's patience, right? Half percent here in, uh, in the old Tex-Mex T-Rex. These all gapped, right? Euro gapped, dollar czar gapped, dollar yen gapped, but then filled. Somehow went up to 32. Dollar yen, you're funny. Um, Aussie yen, not a lot going on. We were steaming on the short side of that on Friday. But then we just sort of squared as it closed pretty bid. Um... Why even we looking? Why are we even looking at Swiss yen? I don't know. CAD yen, useless. This will be an interesting chart this year. This level here, it's not close. 88.50, 89.50 now. Not doing a lot. Euro sterling, Kiwi yen, sure look like a turn. Um, On the last day of the year, we've printed a lower low. Tough on the risk reward now, right? You're going to sell 20s and leave a 64 stop. You're going to hold that for 250 points. I'll answer that for you. You definitely are not. We might, but even knowing ourselves, I doubt we are either. But this looks like it's turned. Um, where and when to get into a short QEN is a little trickier. Maybe up at 
35. Dollar CAD probing, not near the lows though. Well, still another 15 ticks. OPEX is going to be screwing around today. Uh, I believe 4 p.m. Swiss time. They're having some sort of Zoom uh, type meeting. Dollar CAD looks like she wants lower. Wow. I'm just looking at crude here. 49.54. 54. 54.5. Uh, crude is bid. Commodities in general look like they're moving higher with this sort of weak dollar consensus. Look at dollar China. I didn't see that. Motherfucker. Wow. That is pretty decent. Almost 1% now. 644. How you like them apples? Look at that monthly chart from 720 absolutely no support really until we get down to 620 then all of a sudden we're knocking on the door at 6 which is the all time low and then of course gold I would say through the roof, but that sounds like a bit of an exaggeration. But close to 2%. Tricky to trade, right? We gap opened at 08. This is the futures market. Um, I think we're trading March now. No, GCG. It might be February. I don't even know. Uh, front month is G. But once we got through the figure, we iced it through 12. There'll be support today between 10 and 15. I doubt we see it. This has the potential to, um, to keep cruising. First resistance, I guess, is 37. I would not sell gold today. Just leave it alone. Um, obviously, if the Republicans win tomorrow, Gold might be uh, one of the first things we attack. And ES, as you can see, uh, right where we left it, unmoved. Oh, let's look at ZB. Nice little pennant here in ZB. Um, reduced volatility. We do like this lower. Um, kind of no matter what happens, we think ZB has to go lower. Just the supply of bonds is just insane. The debt is insane. There could be supply-driven uh, inflation. Um, a lot of things could happen. Weaker dollar could create inflation. ZB lower, we like it lower. Unfortunately, it's consensus. Um, so you have to be careful with these consensus trades. But logically, we like it lower. Oftentimes, with consensus trades, you want to sell high ones. Um, rather than sell low ones. Anyway, we're not really motivated to dive into any of this stuff here. Uh, we're just going to sit and wait and be patient. Um, something we're pretty good at after being in the market for whatever, 30 years. Just because it's the first day of the year doesn't mean diddly shit for us. So um, we're in wait and watch mode. Um, I guess we'll probably see a weaker dollar at the open in 90 minutes in Europe, uh, but levels aren't super clear, and so we're just waiting and watching. Dollar CAD becomes interesting only when the hockey players are in, uh, so we wait for Toronto and Montreal uh, to join the fight. With that, I wish you good luck today. Uh, welcome to the new year, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.